All right, glory to God. Uh, so today in this video, um, I want to speak about seven major things, seven major differences between God, Jesus Christ, and the devil. Now, we know the, the main one is obvious. The devil is evil. God is good. Now, if you read in Luke 8, 2, it speaks about the the evil spirits. Let's let's go to Luke 8, 2. And it says, And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. So we see that the devil, his job is to do evil. He enjoys doing what is wrong, what is against God. On the other hand, Jesus Christ, he's good. Because everything that Jesus taught was really good. Jesus Christ had the Holy Spirit. If you turn to uh, Ephesians 5 verses 9. I put the verses here so that you can check them for yourself. Ephesians 5 verses 9 it says, For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness. Now Jesus had the Holy Spirit. He was full of goodness. He the goodness of God. See, so that's one of the major differences between the devil and Jesus Christ. One is evil, one is good. One loves to do what is right and pleasing to God. The other one likes doing what is wrong and opposite to God. Now, number two is darkness and light. Now, the devil, he represents darkness. He represents the kingdom of darkness. Um, as we see in Colossians 1.13. In Colossians 1.13, it speaks about how we were translated out of the kingdom of darkness. When you accepted Jesus Christ, you were translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, into Jesus' kingdom. These two kingdoms are opposing each other and they are not uh, complementary. They, they have nothing in common because they don't have the same... Uh, goals, the same same uh, same purposes. One member, one of them is bent on doing evil. One of them is bent on doing good. So these two kingdoms are opposing each other. Jesus uh, says that he's the light of the world in John eight twelve. He says that I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Okay, so. These are two major differences between the devil and Jesus Christ. Uh, one is evil, one is good. One uh, is for the kingdom of darkness, and the other one is for the kingdom of light. Now, this number three, um, I think, uh, well not think, this is one of the ones that Jesus hates the most. Okay, so John 8.44, it says that the devil is a liar and the father of lies, if you read in your Bible. Um, uh, he's the father of lies, so he's going to say everything that is contrary to God. And it says that the truth does not abide in him because there, he has nothing of God in him. And we know that God is a man that he should not lie. God is truthful in everything that he does. The devil, on the contrary, is a liar, and Jesus says that he's the father of lies, so he's not going to speak the truth. Now, Jesus, on the other hand, if you read John 14, 6, it says that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. It says that no one can go to God unless they go through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says that he is the truth, the very truth. Okay, so that's... One of the major differences, the third major difference, and one of them that Jesus Christ hates the most. You know, God hates the most. Now, number four is death. Okay, the devil represents death and, and dying, you know, anything that is contrary to life. So anything that promotes death, the devil is for it. Um, in Hebrews 2, it says that... Uh, he came, uh, God came to deliver us and destroy the works of death. You see, who the person who had the power over death, which is the devil. The devil has the, had the power over death. Jesus Christ conquered and came to 
uh, overcome that. You see, Jesus Christ represents life. Jesus Christ says, I came to give life and life more abundantly. So Jesus Christ is bent on doing good and giving life to people. He wants people to have life. He doesn't want to take your life because God uh, loves to, to give life. He loves to see people, you know, living. You see, that, that's what God is. Now, that comes to my next point, uh, which is stealing. You see, the devil, remember, uh, if you read in John 10, 10, it says that the devil comes to steal. So, anything that you have of valuable that has been given to you by God, the devil's job is to steal that or try to take it away from you. Um, and we know that Jesus Christ is the complete opposite. Jesus Christ will give you. Things. You see, Jesus Christ will give you blessings. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, uh, it says, John 3.16, uh, God so loved the world that He gave. Uh, it says that Jesus Christ will give you the Holy Spirit. You see, so there, the devil, he's here to take from you. And Jesus Christ, he's here to give to you. Okay, that's, that's another major difference between the devil and Jesus Christ. Remember, these are seven differences between the devil and Jesus Christ. There are a lot more, but these are just the major ones. Now, pride. Okay, so pride is an attribute that is associated with the devil. I didn't put the verse here, but I think it's in Isaiah. It speaks about how the devil fell from heaven. It says that he was an anointed cherub, uh, and he began to have pride, and he was removed from heaven. You see, because of pride. You see, so pride is a dangerous sin. It's one of the sins that God hates a lot. And Jesus Christ was the complete opposite. If you read in Philippians 2 verses 8, it says that Jesus Christ humbled himself and was obedient unto death so that he could save us and give us life. You see, Jesus Christ gives life. You see, and, and it says that he gives you eternal life. So that's a, a blessing from God through Jesus Christ. And the last one is oppression. Now, in Acts 2.38, it speaks about those who were oppressed by the devil. It speaks about those who the devil uh, uh, torments or evil spirits torment because their job is to uh, suppress you. They don't want you to have joy in your life. They don't want you to have peace. They don't want you to... Uh, know the, the love and mercy of God. So they will oppress you and try to push, push you down. Now Jesus Christ is the complete opposite. He gives you liberty. He gives you freedom to do what is good. You see, He doesn't give us freedom to sin sometimes. Uh, our, our, our urges can push us to do uh, bad things, but Jesus Christ gives us the liberty to do what is right, what is good. And righteous. You see, we have become slaves of righteousness. It says that uh, Jesus Christ, uh, He gives us uh, the liberty. And I believe it's in 2 Corinthians uh, two Corinthians 3.17. It says that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So Jesus Christ, His whole purpose was to give us liberty from sin. You see, it says whoever sins is a slave of sin. Jesus Christ wants you to be a, uh, a free in righteousness. He wants you to have freedom in God and, and to do what is right. So these are the seven major differences between Jesus Christ and the devil, God and the devil. And uh, just to do a quick summary, devil is evil, God is good, Jesus is good. Uh, the devil represents darkness, the kingdom of darkness. Jesus represents the kingdom of light. The devil is a liar, the father of lies. Jesus Christ is the father of truth. God tells the truth. Uh, the uh, devil represents death and, and dying. Jesus Christ represents uh, life and living. The uh, devil comes to steal, kill, destroy. Jesus comes to give you life and more abundantly. Uh, uh, the devil had pride. Jesus Christ has humility, love, meekness. And the devil comes to oppress you, and Jesus Christ comes to give you liberty in God to do what is right. 
So I hope this video helps you to understand the differences between the devil and Jesus Christ. I think you already knew uh, some of these things, but if you didn't, this is a good uh, start to understand to understanding the differences between uh, these opposing forces.